Hey, this is Chris Menard. Frequently when I'm teaching Microsoft Word, uh, someone will ask, why do I want to make a Word template? Let me show you why. I have a Word document here with a header that has my name, company, my department, and in the footer, if you notice, it has the file name and path. And if you go to File, Print, there it is down below. So I don't always want to I don't want to have to always type this header and footer because I use it all the time. So let's do this from scratch. I'm going to make a new document so you can follow along with me in Word on this one. I'm going to double click in the header. It says header and footer tools design. I'm going to go to header. I'm going to put in a blank three column. Type in your name there, your company here. I'm going to just abbreviate just some, just to get this in here. Type in your department over here. Go to the footer. And in the footer, I want the file name and path. Click parts, field. It'll say all. Just change it to document information. File name. And here's the key. Add path. Click on OK. Document 2, because it's called document 2. I'm going to highlight that, make it just a little bit smaller, make the font color a different color and bold. You can do whatever you want to to that. Double click back in your document. You're out of the header and footer. No longer says it. And I never want to have to do this again, but I'm always using this header and footer. So simply go to File, Save As. And you want to name it whatever you want to call it. My letterhead and instead of making it a Word document, make it a Word template. Click on Save. I'm going to close this. Next time I need to use that, let me close this one too. So nothing's running in Word. I go to File New it says featured just click on personal because I made it a template my letterhead for training one click and it opens up and there you go the minute you save it it'll put in the file name and path so that's why you want to use uh, word templates